Y'all seen all those goddamn meme images online of ur ur muda muda and it's not funny, but people keep seeing to giggle at it? Well, I'm gonna describe to you what that is. I don't know, I'm gonna get you up. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is a bizarre adventure from a long time ago. It's about puzzles and muscles that should be taken very seriously. Now, if you're like me and are a lazy piece of shit, you haven't read the manga yet and are hyped to watch part four where he punches the salad. I didn't read it either and that's okay. If you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about right now, I'll catch y'all up. We're gonna start with part one, all right? Part one. It all begins when a man with a family falls off a cliff and Igor from the hit children's film Igor finds a dead body. His first initial thought is to elude it like a normal human being, but is stopped by his bitch wife who needs to shut her goddamn mouth. He's also stopped by an old man McGucket whose nickname is George Joestar who immediately says, Where's my wife? Or something similar. I don't know. Japanese, and I refuse to watch Kids Next Door dub. Igor says, bruh, and there's a mask. The old man looks at this other dude, pretty much says, yo, I'll raise your kid if you want someday. Probably not, though, well, XD. Cut to right before the civil rights movement in England, where no black people live. Jonathan Joestar is just chilling with his dad, when some blonde faggot who's really fucking handsome crashes there for a while. Jonathan is in love with this boy, whose name is Dio Brando, and wants to be a friend. But Dio ain't having none of that shit and said, I'm gonna fuck up your life, muda! Jonathan has no concept of being an asshole, so he doesn't understand those naughty words. Dio schemes to steal the family gold right out from under their shoulder stars, which have totally always been there. Don't worry about it. Dio beats the living shit out of Jonathan, and Jonathan understand now. Jonathan makes a friend with a vagina, and they make sweet hand-holding. Dio says fuck that and kisses her. She tries to drink dirt water, and Dio about to slap a bitch. He realizes that people don't like it when girls get hit in the face, so he stops. Also, Dio threw John's fucking dog in a fire. This makes George Joestar love Dio because he can pick up a wine glass with his pinky up. Seven years later, Dio and Jonathan look like not green hulks. They love football! Also, Jonathan's dad has cancer. Jonathan is suspicious of Dio because Dio keeps bringing dad water every five minutes. Jonathan finds a letter somewhere that makes him learn that Dio's dad also died of cancer of water. Jonathan ain't having none of that honky bullshit, so he tells Dio that he's a killer. So don't even try, you know, killing. Dio tries to kill Jonathan because of this. Also, they punched so hard that Dio cried and blood hit a mask and Twitch triggered a mask orgasm. Jonathan realizes that masks can't have orgasms, he's checked. So he learns that blood makes spikes come out eat skulls. This is normal. Also, Dio wants to put the mask on Jonathan because he's into bondage. Jonathan left to go find the cure to cancer and Dio went to a bar to put the mask on a hobo. The hobo wears the mask and it's nothing like Jim Carrey's masterpiece, Son of the Mask. It turns a hobo into a vampire! <gasps> Also, Jonathan met a man with a special the hat that threw blades. Jonathan grabbed the blades and the hat man was in awe. Hat man say, my name is not hat man, but I am in fact speed wagon. So they speed wagon home and call the cops on Dio's ass. Jonathan says that he knows Dio gave dad cancer because a Chinese man in London said so with his cancer water that Dio had. Dio gets mad at Jonathan and tries to stab him with a knife, but dad wants to be stabbed and is instead stabbed. Dio realizes that guns equal death and puts the mask on to shield his beautiful face. But Dio can eat bullets now and kills fucking everyone. He sets the goddamn mansion on fire and starts speaking. English. Get back, Dad is dead in the fire, and Jonathan fucking put him on a goddamn statue. Jonathan and Speedwagon lived, but also Dio, because he's a vampire. Dio does a bunch of flips and builds a castle. Jonathan wants to tap that girl's sweet pussy, but he meets a magical Italian man with another fancy hat. His mustache's name is Will A. Zappelli, and he can walk on water like Jesus. He teaches the magical art of salmon, hammon, come on, shaman, come on, and now he can breathe better. This makes his punches stronger and anti-vampire. Also, Speedwagon isn't along for the ride. A bunch of crazy shit happens, and Dio learns how to pose like a fucking madman. So naturally, he's in front of the full moon on a big ass rock to look cool. Also, Dio was playing a lot of Left 4 Dead and now has zombies. They do a bunch of jumps and Jonathan breathes really hard and Jonathan wins the duel. Also, Zapelli has war flashbacks and realizes everyone is mortal. Jonathan is chained up by a wall so Zapelli breathes his breath into Jonathan magically, falls into two pieces, making him dead. Also, before that, they got a new party member named Poco or some shit, but it doesn't really matter, so don't even sweat it, it's not on the test. That kid finds his sister or some shit, so Jonathan can finally breathe his fists into Dio. Jonathan got a cool new sword named Dragon Slayer, is gonna cut him the fucking half. One final fucking thing before we get to the cool shit, there's some more guys named Tonpenny and Strazio who are good guys. Okay, so... Jonathan hit Dio so hard he pissed himself and froze Jonathan's cool new sword. Also, naturally, Jonathan lights his fists on fire with a torch and HOW LONG OVER DRIVES YOU?! Dio's fucking face over a goddamn cliff. Jonathan can rest now and takes a nap. He wakes up and gets married on a boat. But uh-oh, Dio was a step ahead uh, of him and is ahead from Futurama now. The Chinese guy also holds Dio when he's ahead. Dio wants Jonathan's sexy body because there's a really cool tattoo on it. 
But Jonathan needs that. So Dio stabs him in the neck while Jonathan's girlfriend, Arena, watches. The zombies go fucking nuts on a ship and it starts to go fucking down! Using the last of his breathing powers, Jonathan kills the goddamn commie Chinese guy and saves Christmas. But Arena also wants to fucking die. But Jonathan knows that they fucked, so she's gotta be a mommy. But not to his kid, to that dead lady's kid. Arena and Mystery Baby hide in a coffin. And Dio tries yet again to get a piece of that Joestar ass. Jonathan says, I love you. And hugs him and dies. Also, Jonathan Joestar died on February 8th. 1888, which I thought was pretty neat. Thus, the end of part one. <laughs>